Thank you, Mike. Yesterday, a judge temporarily blocked the Missouri Attorney General's rule that would limit transgender care. The temporary restraining order lasts until May 15th. Now a transgender man is making it his goal to make sure others get the gender affirming care they need. KSHB 41's Gian Kim shows us the effort to make it possible. It just feels political and disconnected from the reality that we're experiencing. According to tracktranslegislation.com, 50 anti-trans bills have been introduced in the 2023 legislative sessions in both Kansas and Missouri. As I was getting on Reddit and seeing people post all across you know, different states saying, I have to move all of a sudden. I didn't think this would happen. It's happening so fast. I don't know what to do. Lee Zuvinich decided to launch a nonprofit called Transitional Justice. It'll partner with other national organizations and landlords to provide temporary housing to families as they relocate to states that allow their health care needs. Our organization is assessing risk according to a variety of issues, including race and um, identified gender and gender presentation, because if that puts you at greater risk of harm, then we want to prioritize those people for housing. He tells me there's a lot of people in the transgender community right now who are worried that their health care or the ones for their loved ones will be taken away. Charlie Davidson is one of them. It's, it's anger, it's frustration, it's sadness. I'm not scared of the changes that are being made. If anything, it's lighting a fire that myself and others in the community are feeling. Davidson has been a part of the LGBTQ community since he was 13, but it's only been a few years since he started taking hormones to transition his body. Making a doctor's appointment, really after thinking about it for years, like decades at that point, um, was really was really what, when I was able to name it and say, oh, I am trans. These are the steps that I am personally going to take to affirm myself. Transitional justice has received a couple of offers for fiduciary sponsorships, so it hopes to become an official 501c3 under their umbrella soon. Zubinich hopes it'll give back to people in the LGBTQ community a sense of autonomy and peace. You know, just love each other and ask questions. Gian Kim, KISS HB 41 News.